Hey, what's going on YouTube and welcome to this video on taking a quick look at what should be the 8865. Got home today, found the Cisco box I got from Amazon. Now normally I don't buy new current hardware um, because using uh, Cisco devices in a home environment it's always good to take advantage of end of life stuff because you can get them really cheap. However, the justification I had on this is I'm probably in the minority of people that have this issue, but for the rooms upstairs that don't have wireless, I have 9971s. Now, those are decent phones, but some of you may be aware that they aren't necessarily known for having great wireless antennas. Now, for me, I have a number of these 7985 conference phones that are wired and placed throughout and these are skinny only but what they're used for is to set up for auto answer so instead of like if we need if we're in different rooms and need to talk to each other we can just have like a video intercom system so for example I have one here uh, by my desk so if I uh, hit the speed dial button you can see that it answers and uh, I'm not sure you can see that but it's just an instant uh, video call and that's how we can kind of communicate, it, and that's all it's used for. It doesn't actually make, um, you know, other phone calls. It's just for video intercom between the rooms. Likewise, I have one for the kitchen, and so there's another speed dial button for that. So when you hit the speed dial button, now you can see uh, we're in the kitchen, and there's two-way uh, video. So, what's the point of all that? Well, with the 9971, and my justification for getting this is one of the phones that I have, and it technically happens on all of them, but when I use wireless with the 9971 calling to a skinny video endpoint, a lot of times the video will just freeze, and it's very annoying. Now, if I roll back the firmware to, say, version 8.3, it works a lot better, and you can go longer durations, but it's still kind of finicky. But if you do it wired, um, it's not an issue. Likewise, if I call any other wireless endpoint or any endpoint that's newer, the uh, 9971 does video no problem. It's just, for me, calling these 7965 endpoints when it's on wireless that it has the issue. So my hope with this is to be able to replace those and then we can do the video intercom. Now these I do use for regular phone connectivity and for calling the video endpoints. The video intercom, or VCOM I call it. So, taking the gamble here, never actually used one. I saw these at Cisco Live, so this is my first time actually seeing it. So let's see what we have here. Now I've never actually, I mean, I don't know if these are exactly how they come, you know, because like I say, I just got this at uh, eBay, I mean, it looks, they look new, I mean, it's hard to tell if the box was open and then shipped or whatever, but supposedly these are brand new. So we got an Ethernet cable, regular. Phone cord. You got the little back. This is just telling you where to get documentation. Now here is the phone itself. Now it does... I don't know, it looks like... I am peeling, oops, interesting, looks like these are magnets, I don't know if you guys knew that, I didn't, but uh, yeah, I guess a screen, interesting, so just kind of, I don't know if they have changeable face plates, but, so that just kind of snaps on like that. Has a little slot, 
put it in like that. It's kind of interesting. Now, I don't know if it ever bugs you, but notice how there's one side that's clearly longer than the other. Sometimes people will plug this end on the back of the phone and have this end on this side of the headset. And nothing wrong with that, but it just kind of bugs me sometimes. I guess you can say it's a little pet peeve. Looks like a side USB, a USB on the back, network cables, um, and take this off the, the camera. So, uh, what I was thinking, I just made a space for it here just to initially plug it in, um, get it auto-provisioned, and then I'll set it up for wireless and everything to replace my other one and give an update if, the, if this fixes the issue or not. Alright, so first I'm just going to plug this into the network port. Okay, so so far it seems like it's in a boot loop. You can see on here it has an IP address. It also says active load SIP 8845651151 SR1. That sounds about right. Okay, well, now it's registered. It auto registered with 3014. It's got a pretty good camera, it's got a good picture. Not too bad. Alright, so. Right, so let's zoom out. I'm going to sign in with this phone. Let's call our hunt group. Thank you for calling. All of our representatives are assisting other callers at this time. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and your call will be handled in the order it was received. All right, so I'm gonna move this to the state of ready. Now we have our call. Alright guys, so that was uh, my first look at the 8865 and whenever you buy things online it's always kind of, you know, kind of cross your fingers. It made me a little nervous when it uh, went through a few boot cycles. Um, it was probably upgrading firmware, depending on the model, that they have a different um, procedure. I haven't really looked into this one. But uh, from what I can tell, obviously it, it's up, it registered, auto-registered. I'm able to make calls on it. So now I'm going to go through, configure it, set up for wireless, and swap out the phone. and make test calls, see how well it works on wireless, and if it fixes the issue. And I do say I do like the widescreen too, that's pretty cool. Um, Betsy DeVos, that was very, a very interesting moment yesterday in the Senate when both Senator Collins and Senator Murkowski, two kind of moderate Republicans, came out against her. Um, 
All right, so so far so good. I mean, this call has been up almost four minutes, and we only use these for maybe 30 to 60 seconds, and we would have uh, different issues. So right off the bat, mission accomplished. That's what I got this for. So uh, she can do the, the VCOM basement and have video and audio. Uh, I've just got a serious plan right now, but for testing because wife and kid are in bed but but yeah so this is like five minutes rock solid on wireless so yeah it's definitely worth the investment well guys that's it for this video and again this was a first look at the 8865 and I'm very relieved that not only did it work powering up and everything, but it accomplished the justification of purchasing a non-end-of-life device for my home network. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.